Thank you, Caroline. Members of the community in Parkland still trying to come to grips with the tragedy at Douglas High School. Cities in mourning. It seems everyone knows someone impacted. And tonight we spoke with a Rhode Island native and a former Eyewitness News anchor living in Florida who knows one of the teens who was killed. Eyewitness News reporter Steph Machado continues our in-depth coverage from the newsroom now. One of our former Eyewitness News anchors lives in the community where this tragic shooting happened. His kids are high school age and know some of the victims. We spoke to him about what it's like to be in the midst of all this suffering. It's, it's something that you never think that's going to happen um, in your community. Hundreds of candles flicker in the night at a vigil for the 17 students and adults lost at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. There's plenty of folks we know here in the community that, uh, that lost their, their kids. Mark Economo is originally from Lincoln, Rhode Island and is a former eyewitness news anchor. He now lives in Coral Springs, bordering Parkland, Florida. His 15 and 17 year old kids attend a charter school a mile away, but many of their friends go to Stoneman Douglas High. You know, her friend's 15 years old and said she was running out just crunching on bullet shell casings on the ground as she was running out of the school. Out of the school. Economo says when gunshots rang out around dismissal time at Stoneman, his son Patrick was heading right for the scene for lacrosse practice at the Stoneman Douglas Field. By the time I got a hold of him, he was already at the field um, over at Stoneman Douglas, and I said to him, you know, you need to get out of there. His son drove away, but we now know the suspect left the school among the wave of escaping students around the same time. Conceivably, he could have drove right by this guy as he was running the opposite way. I mean, that's how close it was to everything that happened. Economo's kids know some of the victims, and he says tonight they went to that candlelight vigil with their friends, devastated, grieving, and traumatized. How do you tell your kids, you know, it's okay, to, it's safe, you can go back to school, you know, how do you say that? Because we don't even know. And Economo now works as the public information officer for the Boca Raton Police, but he was called in to help with media relations for the local police for this incident to help inform the public. I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News.